This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCG code cards. They are compatible with TCG Live as well, and they literally have everything. Use the coupon code ZABLUSTCG for 5% off on everything on the website. This video is also sponsored by CardsMarket.com. This is a European platform where you're able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day, and you can use the referral name ZABLUSTCG when creating an account. Also, this video is sponsored by YourPlayMat.com, the best website to create your own unique custom playmat from scratch. They ship worldwide and you can get 10% off by clicking the link down below. How cool is that? Last but not least, this video is sponsored by DragonShield.com, the best website to, of course, buy accessories. They have sleeves, they have binders, they literally have everything to you, you want to start playing competitively. Or, com uh, yeah, if you're a collector, you can also get some fresh-looking uh, clear-fit sleeves. They have everything. Check the link down below, uh, of course, the affiliate link, and you're going to be helping out the channel so much thanks for sticking around with the commercials and i'll see you guys shortly peace What's up, YouTube? It's Zablo's TCG here, and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today, we're gonna be checking out Eldegas Loop. But first, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You're gonna get daily Pokemon TCG content over here. And big shout out to Sander Wajak for providing today's deck list. It actually got 39th out of uh, more than 600 players at the EUIC, and for good reason because Eldegas is broken. You can happy match, get a supporter back from the discard pile, and you can infinitely utilize that because of Float Up, because Eldegas shuffles itself and all cards attached to it back into the deck. You have the double turbo energy to provide that attack. And of course, you utilize Umbreon VMAX of all things. You might think, why is that? Because of the Moon and Sun Badge protecting yourself from boss's order. So the theory is clear. You just have Umbreon VMAX. The opponent is not able to one hit KO it. You get damage. You retreat into another Umbreon because of Bird Keeper. Then uh, you also get damage. You Cheryl, you Eldegas loop your Cheryls and your Bird Keepers until the opponent literally decks out because there's a loop. We have Jolteon to shut down Shady Dealings Engines as uh, on top of like Octillery as well as uh, Luminion V for instance. And Snorlax is going to be drawing ourselves our entire deck because with Snorlax on top of Dreamy Revelation, on top of Puki Muku time and time again, uh, you're actually going to be drawing your entire deck because you clean out your uh, dead cards with Ultra Ball and Quick Ball in hand. We have a mini draw package with Tower of Darkness, allowing you to discard Flannery, Bruno, or uh, yeah, one of your Umbreons that you don't need anymore to draw cards. And if you use that every single time, you're going to be having uh, yeah, zero cards in your deck very easily. And then uh, the looping begins with Eldegas. If you guys are ready, let me know by slapping the hell out the like button. It helps out in many ways to support the channel. And uh, I'm going to try and showcase how this Eldegas loop deck works. Yeah, uh, typically in the deck, you uh, want to just draw a lot of cards, so starting with Snorlax is great, although starting with Jirachi is even better. We'll see what happens. Uh, always go first with the Eldegas loop deck, so you are able to, of course, uh, yeah, utilize your cards at their best. So we have Bird Keeper already, so uh, we could slam down Eevee so we can Bird Keeper into Starly. And that allows us to get any cards from the deck. Capture Energy is actually very great here. I'm actually going to go for Capture Energy already, and I'm actually going to find Snorlax, uh, because Snorlax is going to be... We have Eldegas, we have enough DTEs, there's enough Sun and Moon badges, and let's see how many Umbreons. Two Umbreons and two Umbreons. Okay, so that means the Umbreon in hand can initially get discarded here. Right, two Bird Keepers, two Cheryl, so we should be good to go. Slapping down this, utilizing the Tower of Darkness mini package. Let's go. On top of that, we are going to be able to quick ball away. I don't think we'll need the Marnie in this matchup, so we're going to draw as many cards as possible. Getting rid of this, finding ourselves the amazing rare Jirachi. There we go. We're also going to be going for... I don't know if, if we want to get rid of all these cards, but this is okay. Quick ball, getting rid of this. Can get out another snore. I don't even know what we're up against yet, so over benching is a little bit something I really don't want to do. Don't want to overbench here. Doubling up on Snorlax, then slapping down. Yeah, it's all about drawing enough cards, right? So I don't even know what we're up against, but I'm just going to get out the Snorlax. And we will go for the Retreat. And then go for Gormadax. And I'm not going to slap down Story just yet because we might utilize another one prizer here. And only slap down your Umbreons uh, as long as you have the Moon and Sun badge to back it up. Okay, Lava Ball. If we find Memory Capsule and Jolteon, that is also going to be super strong. 
maybe this level ball already indicates that they are playing some sort of subble engine which means uh the uh, jolton can instantly shut that down okay salabi all right the opponent bringing the spice it's lucario all right lucario is not able to one hit KOS, which is awesome so uh we are not afraid of lucario okay we have another bird keeper wow bird keepers everywhere so uh, let's go for Tower of Darkness and we will get rid of an energy because I don't uh, I plan on attacking anytime soon against this matchup. I'm just going to try and showcase the Eldegas loop. We have an Air Balloon. We have, yeah, I think I'll just go for Bird Keeper here. Drawing more cards than ever before. Dreamy Revelation. We get Umbreon, which is good. Umbreon we can slap down instantly. Because we have the Sun and Moon Batch as showcased. Next up, we have the Air Balloon. We could already give a slap with Eldegals and get a card back. But then we shuffle it back. Uh, I don't know if we should utilize that. We could. We have used Bird Keeper so we can also get Starly and get any cards we want. Maybe that's a better situation. Like one, two, three, four, five Pokemon. Yeah, you can uh, go for five Pokemon here. That's nice. Let's go, Keen Eye, let's get yeah, Jolteon and Memory Capsule would have been nice against any other matchup. But in this matchup, I think I will go for <laughs> Flannery, it seems, seems pretty interesting. Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, taking out the hand, drawing more cards with Snorlax until we are good to go and have zero cards in our deck. That's my initial thought process here. Tower of Darkness, Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball and then go from there. Because our Umbreon can never get gusted up. We have Flannery to get rid of uh, an energy if we want to. Slow the opponent a little bit down. He still needs to get out of the active position as well. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, he has Bebarrel. Bebarrel also allows him to draw more cards. Uh, this guy is able to uh, slap serious amounts of damage with the Fighting Knuckles. He will still need DTE though. But that's all special energies. That means Evaldal could have been great, but we don't have it in play right now. Switch to the Celebi. Celebi is going to be able to find some energies. He's playing physical copies of Switch. All right. We're going to try and showcase the uh, Eldegal's loop in this video. So it might take a while to showcase, but let's see if the opponent is up for it. We can also Zinnia here. That could be great. Zinnia. Look at that, another energy coming down. Look at this, it's uh, Galarian Moltres and Lucario back-to-back -back research, all right. Strong, no, still, he cannot boss us or it's our uh, Umbreon here, which is awesome. Still needs to find an air balloon on his uh, Celebi here as well. And we still have time. Giving time to control players is insane. Uh, I don't know if they are playing uh, ways we can get, use, we could utilize Flannery here, but the better out would be to clear out our entire hand, right? Uh, cards that we don't need. I'm actually doubting which cards that I don't need anymore. I'm gonna get rid of the Tower of Darkness. A big charm. Interesting. Ultra Balling away. We can actually slap this down. So I'm actually gonna Ultra Ball this away. This away? Sometimes we could also attack. Well, we're not attacking with our list today. Pukimuku can draw some more cards. I think I'll just Zinnia here. Until our deck is empty here. So this goes away. And I think about it. I don't actually want to use Flannery here. Let's just get rid of this. Because this guy is never going to be able to KO us, which is awesome. Let's get rid of all these cards. Or just all these cards, right? Let's go. Yeehaw! All these cards be drawn from the deck. Awesome. What else? Ultra Balling away. Snorlax, Ultra Balling away. Big Charm. <laughs> Might as well draw whatever we need. There's another Sun and Moon Batch, so we can slap that down. Training Shopping Center is in there. That's perfect. Cheryl's as well. And the opponent's gonna say, what kind of a deck is this? I don't know. Should we get rid of that 
Might as well put a DTE over here and just uh, keen eye for two more cards. Okay, Sun and Moon Badge. And... Quick Ball. Yeah, I actually don't need any of these other cards. Just need to make sure our entire deck consists of Eldegoss and DTE. We have Jirachi, which can da uh, uh, dig deeply. Double Umbrella and D-Max in hand. We ha only have 15 cards left in our deck. And if he says like, oh, I'm not gonna KO anything whatsoever, we can still utilize the uh, Roseanne's backup. Okay, just a Marnie coming down, it's pretty huge. Triple Stone Fighting Energy onto Lucario. That's pretty huge to be honest. Makes me think I want to utilize the Eveltal here to get rid of all that, but we cannot do that. Unless the opponent throws away a lot of bosses orders here. Do you still do not have a switch? Big charm. <laughs> Look at that. Thank you, Lucario. I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, another switch coming down. Okay, he's gonna go on the offensive right now. Lucario in the house, ladies and gentlemen. How many Flannerys do we have left? Two. Yeah, definitely need to get rid of some of these stone fighting energies. Otherwise, we're gonna be dishing out zero damage with our strategy here. I'm very eagerly uh, wanting to utilize Eveltal to get rid of all these stone fighting energies. Okay, here comes Jirachi. Let's go. Sun and Moon Badge and Capture Energy, that's nice. That means we can capture. Find Umbreon. Utilize this. Getting a Bruno set up. Let's do this. Memory Capsule. More Sun and Moon Badges. I don't know if they're playing stadium cards. I have not seen a lot of them. Tower of Darkness. Dreamy Revelation. Lizzy Velto still looks scary, by the way. Could still utilize it. We have enough cards in hand, so I'm just gonna promote Eevee. Does the opponent know what's going on? We have 12 cards left in our deck, almost into Eldegal's loop territory. We can also Eldegal's loop into Flannery, so we can get rid of all these special energies on the Lucario. All right, look at where we at. We're probably gonna be utilizing not Roseanne's backup, but we're gonna be utilizing Bird Keeper here again. Let's go. Bird Keeper time. I really want to be utilizing Eveltal to get rid of all these energies, but as soon as he had like like two or three bosses or this, it could be going down the drain here. We're just gonna showcase the Eldegas loop. That's what we're gonna be doing. We quick ball away. Don't want to get rid of Eveltal, but I guess. We can still get Peonia back with Eldegoss, so let's get rid of that for now. Let's get to Eldegoss. We're almost uh, at zero cards, by the way. Pitch a Pukumuku. Shopping center here. Eldegoss can get back Bird Keeper. DTE. Retreat and attacking with float up And we're putting it back. So this is the Eldegas loop, right? At this point we can still give up some uh, <laughs> Some Snorlaxes here, but the main point is clear slap down Eldegas at one point We probably also will need to use Roseanne's backup I would say because we need Umbreon V max unless our deck is filled up with more Umbreon V maxes And these cannot get bossed up, which is awesome. Okay, 
This is the Aldegas loop. We're almost there, folks. Hold on to your horses. Even though the opponent has a very strong setup, we should be able to... Uh... There's still eight cards left in the deck, so... We have another Bird Keeper in hand. All right. Umbreon VMAX is here. Finally. And we will gust up a Bibarel. There we go. Now, Dreamy Revelation. We get another Umbreon VMAX. Awesome. If he wants to uh, do some wacky stuff, we're still okay with it. We don't have uh, late game territory quite yet. He can still take another prize card if he wants to, but I'm afraid of stuff like an escape rope, so I think I'll just take this hit for now. And then we can overlap this. Alright, we can wait with that as well, but he could still Marnius, right? Aldegas, Bird Keeper going to the other one. It's fine. Tower of Darkness. Could get rid of more stuff, but this is okay. This is okay. So we are uh, almost in the end game where uh, we have zero cards in deck and the opponent has to undergo this Eldegas looping. Because he's never able to one at KO, so his max damage output is like 240. Okay, bossing the Jirachi. That's his first boss down the drain. Maybe he's playing Echoing Horn. Wouldn't that be funny? Okay. He's drawing more cards than us. We are gonna deck him out at one point. I have not seen too many Marnies as well. Let's go. Okay, we use Umbreon and we trap B Barrel. We slap down Eldegas. We get Bird Keeper. We utilize DTE. We Bird Keeper. And we have zero cards in the deck. Hooray! Float up. We give a little slap to the B Barrel. We uh, shuffle ourselves and all cards attached to it into the deck. And we promote Umbreon. Here we go. The endless loop is here. So yeah. <laughs> what are they gonna do? Yeah, next turn we could also like slap down shopping center. Air Balloon. Yeah, I wonder if he's gonna have another boss's orders, by the way. We need to play this out perfectly. We can get damaged. Then we can Cheryl. The opponent has 15 cards left in the deck. And his Bibarel might be two switches down the drain, one Air Balloon down the drain. He might be like stranded forever unless he's playing... DTEs as well, which I have not seen. Oh yeah, he's playing E-Switch Moltres. Okay, that makes sense. Maybe he's not playing DTEs. Okay, so Aldegas could also get back. Yeah, we're gonna have to loop the, the Bird Keeper here. Unless we don't get damage, then we can get whatever card we want. Attachment onto Bibarel, E-Switch. Does he have another E-Switch? Yeah, he has an E-switch again. We can boss him, though. If he retreats, we can boss him up again. And there's a Marnie coming! Our endless loop comes down the drain at this crucial point. We do have Aldegas again here. Aldegas and DTE. We're drawing into the, the goodies here. 
11 cards in the opponent's deck is another switch card, funny enough. 10 cards left in the opponent's deck. Fighting Knuckles. Oh, that really hurts. Eldegoss. Getting back Bird Keeper. Utilizing Bird Keeper. Getting that DTE combo. We're gonna utilize Pitch of Pukumuku. Yeah. Flannery, interesting. That allows us to actually draw more cards. Yay! And we are back in the same scenario <laughs> where we can draw our entire deck. Almost. Float up. Here comes this one. So we will get damaged. I'll put an air balloon. Uh, I will swap up the Sun and Moon Batch to an air balloon. And then uh, we are actually gonna go with Cheryl Place. Yeah, that seems to be the thing. Cheryl. We're gonna be going for shopping center. Gonna be getting back this. Gonna be slapping down that. Gonna be going for retreat. Gonna be going for Gorman Dice. And uh, at this point... If we Gorman Dice 1, 2, 3... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Gorman dies for one. Yeah, we will need the Eldegoss next turn for sure. Gorman dies for two. Let's go. Okay, we are back in the endless loop. So we Eldegoss, we Bird Keeper, we go for that. Going in circles. Oh no! Yeah, this one will get damaged. So, here we go. Pitch up Yukumuku. We draw our entire deck here, that's awesome. So, we slap down Eldegoss. We get back Bird Keeper. Get the DTE equipped it. Utilize Bird Keeper. And we might... Get the Air Balloon. I don't think he's playing more Marnies, right? I would be surprised if he did. Float up in the house. Bam! Zero damage. We're shuffling him back. Okay, this one get damaged. Doesn't matter which one will get damaged here. We can shopping center get the yeah fighting knuckle. He just waits for us to make a mistake, right? Okay. Uh, what to do here? Aldegas. Bird Keeper again. And yeah, this guy could still get bossed up, so we really need to utilize. We bird keeper to this guy. This guy could still get knocked out by damage. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if I'm the, doing the correct plays here, but still. DTE. Bird keeper. Float up in the sky. Boom. Yes. Yeah, now we promote this guy. This guy is gonna get damaged. We can air balloon. He's got. He, this guy has six cards left in the deck. It's gonna be okay. We get damaged, as to be expected. We utilize Cheryl. 
get rid of all that damage. We have the gas. Uh, air balloon. We Eldegas get Cheryl for the next turn. Use this. We retreat. And we attack. Pichapukamuku. <laughs> and we attack with. I think at this point, uh, do we get rid of that stadium or whatever? Yeah, I think this is okay. Float up again. And then next turn, we do it for Bird Keeper again. So just, I'm not too convinced yet of, of doing the right place here, but that's the way you uh, control people out, right? And they're still not giving up, surprisingly. Okay. At this point, we did not draw everything. We could Cheryl here, but we could also like DTE. Because uh, we were not able to uh, get everything out. Maybe I made a mistake here and there, but it's okay. We don't need to utilize any supporter here. So I think I'll just boss. This guy doesn't seem to be have anything, so uh, boss this one. Yeah, it doesn't matter at this point. Yeah, it doesn't matter at this point. Unless he has escape rope or whatever, we should be all right. Four cards in the opponent's deck, air balloon again. Of course, he had the shopping center to swap around. He's waiting for us to make a mistake and that actually could happen at one point. Okay, we Cheryl. We pitch a Pukumuku. We slap down Eldegas. Yeah. Getting. Do we get the Bird Keeper here or not? I don't know. If we get slapped with damage, I think we get the Bird Keeper first and then the Eldegas. I don't know if I'm doing it in the correct order. Excuse me. But yeah, this is the Eldegas loop, by the way. You just keep on attacking. Keeping, putting it back in the deck. <laughs> what a crazy deck, right? Promote this. It gets damaged. We bird keeper. Three cards left in the opponent's deck. Can we keep this on all day long? Maybe. We bird keeper. We get the Aldegas. We get back Cheryl this time around. DTE, retreat, attack. Yes, shuffling it back. Two cards left in the opponent's deck. Fighting Knuckle, all right, this again. We utilize Cheryl. We utilize Eldegas. Yeah, we use Pitch Pukamuku. Slap down Eldegas. Get the Bird Keeper. I think I have the hang of this. We retreat to the Eldegas. We attack. We flo <laughs> float up. Ah, I don't think I'll be able to play more games with this. It's just too hard to fazzle. Knuckle. Only one card left in the opponent's deck, by the way. Okay, we Bird Keeper. Slap down the Aldegas for the Cheryl. Get the DTE. Retreat. Aldegas. It, it goes a little bit smoother now. It goes a little bit smoother. Promote this. The other one cannot get gusted up. Zero cards in the opponent's deck. And yeah, that's it. We did it. Well played.
You have a good deck. <laughs> Hard face. Okay, we end the turn. So uh, yeah, we deck the opponent out after uh, 30 minutes, but I'm not gonna be playing a second game with this. Yeah, if you want to have more action, go check out the official Pokemon YouTube channel. Uh, where they actually have matches with Sander Wojcik playing this deck. I probably made bazillion mistakes, but this is how the Eldegals loop works. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. Helps out in many ways. Go check out our sponsors as well. Potownstore.com, the best place for TCGO code cards. You can use the coupon code ZABLUSTCG for 5% on everything. There's also cardmarket.com for European players. You can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. Use the referral name ZABLUSTCG. Go check out Dragon Shield if you're interested for sleeves, binders, and deck boxes. You can click the affiliate link down below and last but not least want to create your own custom playmat you can upload your favorite wallpaper logo or design and turn it into a beautiful playmat get 10 percent off right now by clicking the link down below and they ship worldwide so definitely check it out if you uh, want to create an own uh, custom playmat anyhow have yourself a fantastic rest of your day big shout out again to sandra wojcik for this big brain deck and uh, my brain still hurts after playing with eldegas but i'll see you guys tomorrow for more pokemon tcg action peace